In this video, we'll try to uh, have a look to the internal structure of DC machine. And we will start with the first part, which is the stator or the field winding. And before we have a look what is uh, the field uh, winding or the stator is composed of, let's have a look to the data sheet of this specific motor. So this is the most important information that we need to know about the motor. So we need to know about the rated output, 3.35 horsepower, which is basically around 2.5 kilowatt. Then the input voltage to turn this motor on is 120 volt DC. Rated current is 20 amp. Now this rated current is basically the summation of both the field current and the armature current. Then this is the rated speed, 1720 RPM. And the field current will be 1.2 amps. So now you can calculate the armature current, which is 20 minus 1.2, which is 18.8 amps. And then we have the armature resistance which is 1.69 ohm. We'll go to the armature winding in a few seconds. And this is this motor is connected as shunt. What does it mean connected as shunt? It means that the voltage that we apply, we apply to both the field winding as well as the armature winding at the same, the same time. Now let's have a look to the structure of this motor. So basically we have three major components. First, we have the yoke, which is the outside casing. This is for protection. And also, this will be also magnetic material so that the flux will go through this. Also, we have the winding. These are the windings. So we have different sets of winding. And the current is arranged such a way that one of them will be North Pole and the other one will be South Pole. So this is to produce the flux inside the, the machine. And this is the magnetic material. That is the winding is wrapped around it. And when you have a closer look here to the magnetic material, it's composed of laminations. And this is basically to reduce the ED current loss. So this is the overall construction of the DC motor field winding or the stator. Uh, this is the armature winding or the rotor, the moving part of the, of the motor. And we'll start from the shaft here where you connect your mechanical load. So the mechanical load will be connected to this part, we'll call it the shaft. And then we will have the armature winding and we have a closer look here. These are the windings here. They are electrically insulated from each other. So we have, this is mica tape here around it. And then this windings is embedded inside the magnetic material. And again, it's made from laminations as we can see here to reduce the ED current loss. Then the windings come in here and they are leaving the winding and you have a closer look here these windings are basically laminated they have uh, enamel around them again to electrically insulate each other so for example these three conductors that we have here they are electrically insulated from each other and then here comes the commutation action where we apply our dc so basically here we have those commutations and they are made from copper conductors and when you look closer they are electrically insulated from from each other to have the full circuit we need to have a connections between the outside dc voltage which is coming from this side to the machine so we have the brushes these are the brushes and when we rotate the machine these brushes will be in contact with the commutators so that we have the full circuit from the dc source to the brushes, to the commutators, to the windings, to produce the current inside the machine, which will interact with the external magnetic field coming from the field winding to produce the, the torque in the DC machine. 